hello friends so welcome back to another video today i got a very interesting news for all of you because uh, today it's not about the china because today it's about the dictatorship of north korea yeah that that fat person yeah we all remember what was his name uh ow oh, that it was a uh, kim jong un yeah I guess so. So let's see further what we got today about him. So North Korea blows up liaison office in Kaesong used for talks with South Korea. North Korea has blown up joint liaison office used for talks between itself and South Korea. The latest sign that ties between the two long time adversaries are rapidly deteriorating. North Korean state media reported that the four building which is located in the town of Kaesong on the North Korea side of the demilitarized zone divides the two Koreas was completely destroyed by a terrific explosion at 2:50 p.m. local time a plume of black smoke rising above the site was visible from the no sorry South Korean side of the border shortly after the lysen office had been closed since january 30 due to novel coronavirus pandemic according to south korean unification ministry south korean staff had not been to the building since the ministry said but the destruction of a building meant to facilitate dialogue paid for by south korea and sitting on north korean soil is highly symbolic it may risk a turning point in relation between two countries that had committed themselves to a new era of peace fever than 3 years ago north korean framed its decision to destroy the liaison office as a retaliatory measure after a group of defectors used balloons to send anti north korean leaflets north of demilitarized zone The recent foolish act of daring hurt the dignity of our supreme leadership a statement carried in KCN on Tuesday read The world will clearly see what severe punishment our people will meet out to the South Korean authorities and how they wipe the human scum of the earth North Korean claimed the leaflet violated the deal Kim Jong Un and South Korean president Moon Jae-in struck in 2018 at their first summit when both leaders agreed to cease all hostile acts and eliminating their means including broadcasting through to see through to loudspeakers and uh, distributions of leaflets along their shared borders it's illegal for average North Korean to consume information that is not approved by the country's powerful propaganda machine and doing so carry dire consequences the liaison office was reopened and refurbished as part of that deal to help the two koreas communicate but its future had been thrown into doubt last week when north korea announced it was cutting off all communication with south korea including a hotline meant to directly connect the leaders of the two country in response to the leaflets North Korean state media also announced Tuesday that the country armed forces would remilitarize portion of the Korean border that had been pacified by both sides in recent years. An official at South Korea's presidential blue house called the decision to blow up the liaison office an act of betrayal of the expectations of all who wish for the South Korean defense ministry said it was monitoring North Korea's armed forces and would strongly respond to any military provocations kim yo jong kim jong un's sister and perhaps the second most powerful person in the country demanded the south korean government punish the defectors whom she called betrayers humans come and riff raff who dared hurt the absolute prestige of our supreme leader representing our country and its great dignity according to a statement carried by North Korean state news agency KCNA on Saturday came also hinted in their statement that North Korean liaison office would be destroyed in some manner before long a tragic scene of the useless North Korean joint liaison office completely expert completely collapsed would be seen she said per the Saturday statement experts say that uh, leaflets likely 
angered North Korean's political leadership, but leading into Tuesday, some analysts had also speculated that North Korea was using the issue to manufacture a crisis, a tactic Pyongyang has previously used to create a sense of urgency in negotiations or to sow discord between the United States and South Korea. South Korean authorities are investigating the defectors who sent their leaflets, but any attempts to prosecute them could be met with heavy criticism in a liberal democracy, which prizes freedom of speech. On Monday, Moon said it was imperative that North Korean return to the negotiating table rather than return to the past period of the confrontations by, com- by cutting the communications and raising tensions. The part that two Koreans must walk is clear, like the river that twists and turns that eventually reaches the sea. The South and North must keep their optimistic faith and take each step towards national reconciliation, peace and unification, however slow it may be, he said. The promise of peace on Korean Peninsula that was made by Chairman Kim Jong-un and I in front of 80 million Korean people cannot be reversed. That was it. If you like it, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Have a nice day and see you in another video.